It's no mystery that slap fighting is a serious risk for head and brain injuries, but this most recent clip going around social media highlights a whole other area of injury concern for what frankly is one of the most ridiculous sports I've ever seen. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and if you're new here and enjoy learning about the underlying anatomy and mechanisms of different sports injuries, then please consider subscribing to support the channel and stay up to date with all my future videos. In my opinion, slap fighting should not exist. It's completely unnecessary danger in my opinion, but that soapbox is a whole nother story that I've done a video about in relation to Dana White's Power Slap League. But this clip highlights a whole different area of potential trauma that, again, makes this sport ridiculously unsafe. We can see here in this competition, this RXF Slap Fight Championship here, I guess, we can see after this one competitor, who ended up ironically winning the whole thing, gets hit here, we can see how much sort of just number one, soft tissue swelling, edema, what's likely hematoma formation we have on the left side of his face, but more importantly, this significant drooping of this left side of his lower face, which raises concern that amongst the potential bone and brain injuries with this, you could also be having nerve damage. With our Bio Digital Anatomy tool here, I've highlighted all the different muscles, blood vessels, and nerves around the face. <clears throat> you can see there's a lot of different muscles. There's a ton of different muscles that help control eye closure, all the different facial expressions, and so it's a very complex region of anatomy. In particular here, the nerve that I'm worried about is a nerve called the facial nerve. It's the seventh of 12 cranial nerves, meaning it originates from our brainstem and then goes out to the rest of our body, typically with these cranial nerves somewhere around our head. The cranial nerve seven, the facial nerve, controls the muscles of our face. It's extremely important for expressions, for movement, for me just sitting here talking. I could not do that if I have a damaged facial nerve. I have it highlighted here in green. And so the facial nerve itself actually comes out from the skull, sort of up underneath and behind the ear, comes out and then branches to control the top part of our face, kind of the middle part of the face, and then the lower part of our face around our mouth and lips. When people have a stroke, that can affect the facial nerve from a central location, but you can also have what we call peripheral nerve injuries that affect the nerve and damage the nerve after it's left the brain, and in this example is out in the face. So obviously it's not hard to see how this green nerve on the side of the face is right in the region where these competitors are striking one another with what a lot of times amounts to basically a palm rather than a true slap. One of the signs of a facial nerve injury is drooping of the face, specifically drooping of the lip down here to the side. And so for various reasons, my concern is that this competitor could have suffered an injury to his facial nerve. Even if it's just a temporary sort of stunning of the facial nerve, like when you hit your funny bone, there's all kinds of bruising, there's all kinds of blood accumulation here on the side of his face from these repetitive slaps that could either lead to compression of the facial nerve or one of these direct blows from his competitor could stun that facial nerve enough to cause damage to it. This is what his face looked like at the start of this whole tournament. We can see nice clear symmetry. There's no drooping of the left side of the face. And then this is after. This is the result of multiple repetitive slaps, not only causing high risk for brain trauma, but things like jaw fractures, facial fractures, and potentially like we're seeing in this case, evidence where you could be having nerve damage from that repetitive trauma or just direct injury to that facial nerve as it's left beneath the ear and then spread out into its branches. So not only does slap fighting have serious risk of repetitive brain trauma and facial fractures, but also we're seeing potential sign that you might have temporary irritation or damage to the nerves in the face, because again, they're right in that area, they're right underneath the skin, and if you're directly impacting and blowing these nerves, you can potentially also suffer nerve injury. I don't understand slap fighting at all. I feel like it's the most unnecessary level of risk of any sport, if we can even call it a sport that I've ever seen. And as we've seen, very clear evidence of very real injuries, but it does give us some interesting anatomy things to discuss. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.